India and Pakistan came because the two people quarreled. There was a desha, consequently two deshas came into the picture. Atman has no desha. I may take birth in Pakistan, I may take birth in Saudi Arabia. I said, this is what is common to all, is called as dharma. And what is not common, but relying upon an opinion of an individual is called religion. No, no, we are good. No, we don't need anything. So you have to add energy to the soul, that is the purpose of the life. The soul resides just below the navel, above the soul you have got the Paramatma at the, at the Sahasrara and Paramatma's velocity is infinite, whereas the soul's velocity is the velocity of the light. Are you able to follow this? The soul's velocity, since it burns with light and the energy, its velocity is the velocity of the light. Whereas Paramatma's velocity is infinite. So when you pass through the various chakras, you go beyond velocity of light. The soul is called Brahma. This is called as Paramatma. Somebody asked me, what is this path from Brahma to Paramatma? There, sir, at that particular instant, the whole body will be operating beyond velocity of light. What happens when you work beyond velocity of light? Sir, I defeat the concept of time. When you defeat the concept of time, what happens? I am defeating the mrityu. I am defeating the mrityu because when once you are within the concept of time, the mrityu comes. So our people divided that a man can understand life in two manners. One is below velocity of light. The other one is beyond velocity of light. One is below velocity of light. The other one is called as beyond velocity of light. Beyond velocity of light, that particular word as coined as this is Paramatma, this is Brahma, this path is called as Parabrahma. You are able to follow this? This is Paramatma, this is Brahma. If you are in between those paths that the energy of the body is in that particular state, it is called as Parabrahma. But once you defeat the concept of time, you know what happens yesterday, what happens today, what happens tomorrow, you get the Trikalagnana. Mm -hmm. So Trikalagnana is exclusively for going beyond velocity of light. Mm -hmm. You want to have a darshan of every particle of matter for all times to come. You must have a vision of those particular matter. The vision is called as Nayana. The vision is called and you want to be within itself and also outside. That is as close to the particle as possible. They are becoming that. So they carried a function to make a man to work beyond velocity of life. That function is called as Upanayana. It is called? So Upanayana is basically a process in which a man can work beyond velocity of life. Defeat the concept of time. Understand the function of the universe. How the universe was there some millions of years back? How the universe going to be after millions of years? So the whole knowledge of the entire cosmos was learned within the physical body. So this Parabrahma Vyavastha, if you go, you are able to know everything in this world. So the knowledge will not come being with the Brahman called the Atman. The knowledge will not come because you are with the Agni of the body called Vishnu. The knowledge will, come, will not come on account of the physical body called as Maheshwara. The physical body is called as Maheshwara. The Agni in the physical body is called as Vishnu. Agni Rvai Vishnu. The Atman is called Brahma. So they are not Gurus. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara. Who is the Guru? Guru Sakshat. When once you defeat the concept of time. Param Brahma, that's my Sri Guru Devo. Below velocity of light is called Tamasa, above velocity of light is called Jyoti. So when once you move from Tamasa to Jyoti, you are defeating the Vrityu. Tamasoma, Jyotir Gamaya, Vrityoma. So this is the concept of the Vedic system. So we can say in this lecture, 
the conception of the body is the reflect of the solar system. The solar system is called Brahmanda. The physical body is called as Pindanda. The Pindanda is a replica of the Brahmanda. Number one, the Mother Earth is present as the bone in the muscle. The sea is present within as the heart. The water in the sea becomes the blood in the heart. The rivers are represented by blood vessels. The nadi represents the lake. The ozone is represented by the nervous system. Ozone is called akasha. Why it is called akasha is because it receives the shaka from the earth. Shaka means heat. Ah means atma, that is the sun. Whichever the material or the medium that receives shaka from the atma is called a shaka is reverted. From that side it is shaka, from this side it is kasha. So it is called as A plus kasha. A kasha is one of the panchabhuta that is called ozone. Represented by the nervous system. The mind is represented by the moon. The sun is represented by the atman. The agni in the physical body is represented by mangala. The intellect or the buddhi is represented by Budu, buddha. The penetration of the knowledge is represented by guru. The virya, the semen or the anda in a female is represented by shukra. And there is one more for all these things are in motion in the physical body. This motion is to be controlled. So a person who controls the motion will not allow any particle to rest. If it rests, then we die. So he must have not allow us to sit, not allow to us to run. He must control the speed. So his name is, he is not allowing him to sit nor run. He is called a sad plus run. He is called the Saturn, the physical body. So the whole physical body is a replica of the solar system. So the knowledge of the solar system was derived by having an internal vision, by making an internal journey called as Dhyana. And we got the entire knowledge of the whole cosmos. Knowledge means naturally you have got functions. Functions means you have got various functions. The earth has got a life of 432 crores of years. So also this physical body has got a life of 432 crores heartbeats. That is the full life of the human body. So in 432 crores heartbeat, there are 4,32,000 physiological changes in the solar system and also in the Pindanda because Brahmanda and Pindanda is one and the same. Every change can be represented in energy. It can be represented in sound energy because energy can be converted from one form to another form. So the energy of the cosmos or the energy of the physical body called as Adi Bhautika and Adi Daivika was represented in sound. There are 4,32,000 changes. These changes are represented in sound called as 4,32,000 letters. And those letters are called as Vedas. Those letters are called as Vedas. I will explain that in subsequent lecture. So, Veda is nothing but the prana of the human body or the prana of the Brahmanda. The knowledge of the Brahmanda or the knowledge of the physical body is called as the Vedas. So, we went for the Vedic system only to get the knowledge that was got by internal visualization in the process you are strengthening the soul also and you are becoming Paramatma yourself so please remember that you do not represent the body, you represent the soul. The soul is called Brahma. As that if somebody asks whether you are the body or the soul, you must say, the soul is eternal, I am the soul, I am the eternal, I am there for all times to come. As that Acharya Shankara said, I am the Brahma. I am the Brahman called Aham Brahma. So this way, the Vedic philosophy is, Understanding the universe through the physical body, through our cells. All studies are done within us, not outside. So study the whole universe within us in the process. So there is a technical way of on how this dhyana is to be carried out. What is this Gayatri Mantra? Yeah. What is this Sandhya What are all yeah. the various prana that is there in the physical body? Mm -hmm. This I will take one after the other. In case you are interested in much more of subject like this, there will be a few technical talk. Whatever I speak, it will be totality of science. I will not deviate anything from the basic principles of the science. 
The four Vedas are told, the Rug Veda, Yajur Veda, Sam Veda, Atar Veda, 